lead pencil, trace something in your home that is circular, like a cup. Now you're going to draw a smaller circle inside your big circle. Now don't panic, I know it's a tricky thing to do without tracing, but just do your best. And we're actually going to rub it out later anyway, it's just a guide. Grab your white pencil and very carefully trace over your larger circle. You want it to pop, so you might need to go over it a couple of times. when you look at a bubble up close there's lots of rainbow colors swirling around so choose your first rainbow color it doesn't matter which one and we're going to do a wash of color which means we're going to try and make our coloring in as even as possible so you can't see the lines <music> color and just like I'm doing here try and do most of your dark coloring on the outside of your circle getting lighter towards the inside so pressing a little bit harder on the outside and lighter and lighter towards the inside just so it looks like it's fading into the black middle add a couple of extra colors to finish it off and then use this time to just go over everything again and make sure it looks as smooth and as blended as possible. The next important step is taking your white pencil, that inner circle that we did before, you're going to use that as a guide to draw something like a curved rectangle. So follow the exact curve of the circle that you drew. And then you're just going to fade it out as though it's a reflection on your bubble and it just fades into the shadow again. to add an identical patch of reflective light underneath this one. And then the same thing again, but the opposite way around and at the top. bubble look extra shiny try adding a few little dots or square highlights we're going to rub out that lead pencil circle you did in the middle now we can add some curved lines following the curve of the outside of your bubble and this will just make it look extra shiny with the light reflecting off it We need to make it even shinier so using a paint pen or some acrylic paint on a thin paintbrush you're going to use white paint to accentuate and highlight your highlights that you've already done in pencil so the extra shiny bits you're going to just add a touch of white paint Once your 
white paint has dried, you might like to go in with your colour pencils and just add little flecks of rainbow on your highlighted areas, just to blend it in a bit. Last time I'm just going to go over tiny little bits here and there with my Posca or white paint and just fix up the border of the bubble and then we're done. You can stop at one bubble or you might like to do a whole lot of bubbles. So here's a time lapse of me doing some different colours and a little bit of different types of shading. 